Can you imagine what a better world might look like? Well, artists have been working on it. I'm Peter Winant, and my best bet is the Renwick's 50th anniversary exhibit, This Present Moment, Crafting a Better World. With over 170 works by 150 artists, this extensive collection of amazing feats of the mind and hand is open until April 2nd. And here are a few standouts. Sonia Clark's Monumental recreates a gigantic version of the dish towel that Robert E. Lee used as a flag to signal his surrender at Appomattox. The scale of Clark's work counters the weird banality of Lee's dish rag flag probing at the idea of how we might design instruments to communicate peace. Bisa Butler's astounding large-scale work is based on a black and white photograph of members of the segregated World War I all-black Harlem Hellfighters Brigade. Butler's tribute, stitching up to 10 layers of vibrantly colored sheer fabric, makes these heroes pop out at us, as they should. This is a labor of love and respect for the men who earned the highest military honor not from the U.S., but from France. There is also playful humor here. Ohio, Goza Imas, the De La Torre Brothers' crazy mashup of Mesoamerican and Japanese sensibilities, Catholicism and American kitsch, results in a fantastical Aztec calendar. While enjoying Polly Adams Sutton's Facing the Unexpected, I think of Frank Gehry's architecture. Her craft is meticulous, it's form-pleasing, and like Gehry's buildings, it probably functions, too. Need anyone make silly arguments about whether the work is craft or art, or both? Who really cares when it's this good? This present moment, Crafting a Better World, is on view until April 2nd at the Renwick. I'm Peter Winant for Around Town Best Bets. Thanks for joining us. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash bestbets.